A lot of times in sales, most salespeople try to lie or exaggerate facts. But that itself is exactly why the stereotype around sales is so negative and why most people don't trust salespeople. And if you're doing the exact same thing, you're going get, to get yourself in the same hole. It'll end up in a situation where people are not going to trust you. But if you can cut through all the BS, all the noise, all the objections, everything that they're throwing at you with honesty and transparency, that's it. You've earned their business. You've got the deal. That above and beyond all the tactics, the technicalities, the techniques, all the numbers and letters and acronyms and ABCs always be closing all the whatever of sales, all the fluff. Here's the reality. You want to be real, transparent, genuine, authentic, candid with people. You want the truth to break through. You want to be committed to building a relationship with them and to actually helping them to actually getting them what they're looking for. That's the end goal. That's the outcome. Whatever your product service program course is, think about what the outcome and the end goal is. Your job is to be as real as possible and as genuine as possible and look for ways to help them get to that conclusion, whatever it takes. And you're committed to that process. If part of that is hurting their feelings and letting them know, listen, you're going to have to compromise on some of your expectations. If you're looking to get what you're looking to get, then so be it. People will respect you more for your honesty and transparency. And that respect will lead to trust and credibility. Trust and credibility leads to closing deals. But if you're not honest and transparent and not willing to have these hard conversations, you're not going to have trust and credibility and respect. If you don't have those things, you're not going to get a deal done. And that's really the basics of it. You know, forget all the, all the knowledge of sales and all the cool stuff. That's really what it comes down to. Everything else we practice and everything else that goes into sales is to teach you and equip you with how you can be this real and candid with prospects. Because obviously, if you just attempt it without any kind of training or knowledge, more than likely going to butt heads with people, you more than likely won't be able to get your message across. It'll come off disrespectful. It'll come off unprofessional, whatever it might be, right? So the things like agree, acknowledge, assume control, these type of things are to teach you that knowing the sales process from intro to qualifying to the demo and presentation and showing the value in your product or service to you know the offers and the proposals you want to create directly tailored for them, right? To closing the deal, all of these things, the knowledge that comes with that, you want to know because it makes the entire process a lot smoother.